Hello everybody, welcome to Wine World TV, the best wine show anywhere. I'm your host, Mark Fusco. Before you get, before we get started, make sure you're smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel. Every like and subscription helps build the channel. Even better, spread the word to your friends about the best wine show anywhere. All right, welcome to my series of reviews of wines from Domaine Bousquet. I've reviewed several of their wines over the past few years. If this is your first time seeing any of my reviews of their wines, please check out the first video of this series about the Sauvignon Blanc. I covered the background of the winery and the region in that, in that video. All right, let's just get right into the stats of this wine. 2019 Domaine Bousquet Cabernet Sauvignon. Suggested retail price is $13. Guatiari Valley, Tupangato, Uco Valley, Mendoza, Argentina. 100% Cabernet Sauvignon. It is a certified organic vineyard made with organic grapes, hand harvested, elevation is 1,200 meters or 3,900 feet, the soil is gravel and sand, ABV is 14%, TA or total acidity is 5.2 grams per liter, the pH is 3.7, the RS or residual sugar is 3.1 grams per liter. Okay, enough of all the info, let's just get right into the wine. So another session, different shirt, doing all the reds. I also recorded all my intro stuff to that great California Cab shootout. I still haven't had the wines yet. As of today, I'm going to record that episode. Well, today's Thursday overnight into Friday. So the second into the, not talking to you series, second to the third of September. And I'm going to do all those wines on the 6th of September after tasting group. So I am excited to check that out. And I'm still in the same capsule from all those white wines. Well, you haven't, you haven't watched all the white wines. I did like 11 wines that day. I'm still in the same capsule. And I did that, that post and beam, which you've already seen. And then um, you haven't seen it yet, but I did a revisit of this. Uh, I've this is like one of the last ones you're going to see of the Bousquet stuff. And I did a revisit of that. I've never done that before. But I felt I needed to... Um, kind of try that one again. So stay tuned for that episode. Let's get the paper going here. All right. So got a nice little, you know, medium plus to, uh, concentration of color. Definitely got some red going on here. A little bit of ruby. I would call it medium staining, medium minus staining on the glass. I mean, it's not a it's not a Pinot Noir in the sense that it's like you know really translucent or see through, but the staining on the glass is not very heavy. Okay, check out those tears. See if it matches the number for alcohol. I mean, I'll call that medium plus, you know, almost high, you know, or you know, high for uh, for the uh, tearing. So let's check it out. Medium plus on. The aromatic intensity, definitely youthful. We've got some really bright red fruit. So raspberry, um, strawberry, not really cranberry, but raspberry, strawberry. It's really red fruit dominant. I mean, I guess I could pull a little blue, blue fruit out of that, but not really. I mean, this is, this is all cab. So I should be getting red and black fruit. I kind of get maybe maybe it's a blackberry, maybe a maybe a plum. I guess plums considered a black fruit. I always think of it as a blue fruit in my head because it's a purple fruit, but it's actually considered black, if I remember correctly. Um, I mean, there's no information about like oak, and it won't be really at 13 bucks. You're not going to get new oak aging on this, okay? But there is kind of a vanilla-ish flavor or aroma to it. We'll, we'll see what happens on, on, the, on the palate to see if that translates. But there is kind of a creaminess that I'm associating with vanilla. 
you got some, you know, uh, some fresh earth, some red flowers, <clears throat> but everything's really fresh and ripe in nature as far as fruit. It's really a fruit driven wine. Not a lot of earth, not a lot of uh, baking spices, stuff like that. So it's really, it's really just fruit dominant. There's a little bit of tartness to it though. And these, I, that might be from the acidity. It's not, it's not super high acid. I mean, it's right there, right? Like normal acid. So, but a little bit of acidity to it, but it's, it's normal, I guess. There's a brightness to it, a little tartness to the fruit. There's a little bit of woodsiness, little bramble thing going on here. Um, you could maybe call that stem inclusion. I don't know if they do that, but the fact that they do a lot of, they do a lot of, um, organic grape, you know, organic, I think all their wines are considered organic, um, or using organic grapes. You know, there might be some stem inclusion going on here. It's not normal for cab. At least I don't think it is. Maybe, maybe I missed that in cab making class or something like that, but there's a little bit of woodsiness or being out in the brush or rusticity, if you want to call it that. And while I say there's a little bit of tartness, also juiciness, a little jam, not jamminess, but a little juiciness to it. I think it's a, you know, so well, it's an easy to drink wine, well-made wine. You know, it's $13. It's not going to, it's not going to set the world on fire. All these fires going on and I'm using fire references. It's, you know, I mean, it's, it's not, it's not, you know, we're not talking 20 and 30 and $40 bottle of wine here. It's $13, easy day, everyday drinker. It delivers on that. It's a little bit of bitterness. A tannin's really good though. It's got some good structure to it. You real this really needs a this really needs food with it. You need to pair food with this wine. Because on its own, it, it's a little, it's a little um, you know, demands attention. It kind of needs a partner to kind of kind of reel it in a little bit. I like it though. Yeah. It's tasty. So when you're watching this. I may or may not have my farming practices um, videos going. They probably will be. And they may not be at organic yet. But make sure you check out those farming practices videos. I'm going everything from conventional all the way to sustainable and bio, organic, regenerative agriculture, which I just found out about like a few weeks ago. And all the wines are made from that. So take a look at those, those videos. You're, you're going to learn a lot about about all the, how wine's made. Anyway, about this wine, 13 bucks, see it on the shelf? Support them, I, I like what they do. I like the wine, check it out. Yeah, so that's gonna do it for today's show. Uh, I just wanna thank my good friends at Creative Palette, especially, Kate and Jane, for supplying all the wines they do and the continued support of the show. And if you enjoy what I'm doing here, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and then tell your friends. Until next time. Have some uh, cool, inexpensive cab. <laughs>